not all things go wrong. And after winter's famine comes the spring. Kind Prophetic words beauty. from the poet come entrepreneur who ensured in the case of Butler and Tanner, not all things do go wrong. 90 of the original 285 people are now back at the presses with talk of recovery rather than receivership. It seemed to me crazy to lose this fantastic um, accumulation of talent and of heritage. It just seemed to me so wasteful. Uh, and the thought of all those machines being taken to bits and sent off to China. Um, I, I did get a little cross about that. Thousands of famous titles have rolled off the presses here in the 150 years of this company, but none of them could have been more important than this book. When Felix Dennis took delivery of Island of Dreams last year, he was so impressed with the printing quality, he wanted to know more about the company that had produced it a few months later, and he'd bought that company. They marched in protest at the sudden closure of the town's biggest employer, then, when all seemed lost, an unlikely saviour in the shape of Felix Dennis, imprisoned in the 70s by the British government for his part in the anti-establishment magazine Oz. Now his books stand alongside some of the best in the business, all printed by Butler and Tanner. Whatever Dennis's past, people here are only looking to a brighter future. For years it was the town's biggest employer. Maybe one day we can get it back to that. Are you a fan of, of Felix Dennis? What Obviously do you think now, yeah, I am, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, yeah. They're great blokes. His poetry has been described as 21st century Kipling, and if his business skills give hope to this company, many will see that as poetic justice. Richard Payne in Froome for the West tonight. Joy is ever on the wind.